um, weather is a part of our life and, and it's something that uh, obviously has a great impact on us and obviously over the last few years uh, we have seen what Mother Nature can, can deliver. Uh, and so, uh, for me, um, I've been doing this 28 years uh, forecasting the weather. I've seen a lot change over that time and, and, and as I always like to say, there's nothing normal about our weather. It's the extremes that are the normal. And uh, I think that's just something that we have to keep in mind as we move down the road from the years to come, that uh, always expect the unexpected. And uh, it's always good to have a little security blanket with you uh, when the weather does get bad. And what I'm sitting on here is my security blanket, the big generator, uh, something that uh, I have and I think everybody should have. Everybody tends to, you know, live in the moment and, you know, we, we see what quote unquote is crazy weather or, or something that seems out of the ordinary, but if you go back and you look through other, uh, other times, and, and I like to, you know, equate back to the 1950s, for instance, with all the big hurricanes that came up, uh, you know, we have pattern setups that, that are cyclical for us. There's, you know, patterns that, that you know, change every year. There's, there's ones that change every month, there's ones that change every 20, 30 years, whatever it might be, and even longer than that. But, but the bottom line is, you know, you, you take, for instance, back in 2005, eight hurricanes hit, hit Florida. Uh, they hadn't had many big hurricanes there in a while. So uh, the bottom line is our weather is going to continue to be very volatile. Uh, the sun uh, has been very active. Uh, the oceans are changing in terms of temperature um, and in terms of, of looking for you know, the, the big storms. The Atlantic seems to be a much warmer place right now while the Pacific has cooled down. The jet stream flow is very dynamic and, and volatile. And, and so, uh, yeah, it, it's just everything from thunderstorms in the summertime, which can knock out your power, to some of these big storms like the October snowstorm, uh, Sandy, and so forth. Um, you have to expect those. It's just, just where we live and it, it, it is what it is. want to go on with your life and continue to you know feel comfortable feel secure uh, if you earn a profession that uh, like myself I'm out of the house I'm gone I'm not there a doctor a firefighter a police officer whatever it might be a nurse um, you leave your house you leave your loved ones back in the house and and when you take off or you have a, a mother or father or grandparent that's alone um, if you've got a generator you've got that sense of security safety knowing that they're okay you've got to go do your job and, and, and life goes on. Uh, you know, every time the summertime comes around, I think about it in terms of the thunderstorms because we get so many around here. Uh, then as we get to the tropical weather season, uh, I start to, start to think to myself, all right, well, you know, when's a tropical storm or hurricane going to come? Oh, when's a hurricane of 38 going to come again? Okay, mm -hmm. a storm that, and keep in mind, Sandy, Sandy doesn't take a left-hand turn and go in New Jersey come straight on up, that's our hurricane of 38 again. So that's how close we came to Connecticut getting absolutely, you know, obliterated. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so, uh, you know, that worries me because we're going to get another big hurricane someday and people are going to, you know, think, you know, they think Irene and Gloria were big. Well, you know, wait till you see what happens. We saw what Sandy did just to our south and, of course, our Connecticut shoreline too. So bottom line is I really started to think about it back when Irene started to, to approach. Um, and then, uh, you know, I said, you know, after that, I need to, you know, need to do something about this. And uh, then after the October snowstorm, that was it. You know, it was a done deal. It's had to be done. Leave my house. Now, there's two reasons for, for my purposes. Number one, I have all my weather equipment in the house. Our radio station, our CBS radio station, WTIC especially, um, we have to... If we don't have somebody in the office, get on the air and, and go right away, and that's what I will do. I am able to get on the air and, and, and talk on the radio right then and there, no matter you know what time of the day or night. And so I need to have my power all the time. So that, for me, was one real critical factor, that if I've got to broadcast the weather, get out there and talk about it, I've got to have my power. So that's one reason. And the other reason, of course, is that my family, I want them to be you know safe and secure. And uh, when I'm gone for... 36 hours or more, and, and uh, they're there at home, and all the lights are on, and the heat's going, and 
everybody's uh, going about life normally, uh, that's that's the best feeling. <laughs> so you know you you have uh, that security, knowing that you don't worry. The stress level for me, you know, knowing that a big storm's coming, and okay, what am I going to do with you know the wife and kids? Do I get a hotel? What about my mom? Where does she go? You know what? You don't have to worry about that. You got this, and everything is okay. Power was uh, a company that I, you know, had known was in the generator business. Um, I had heard the advertisements before. Um, get tower for your power. I mean, I love that. Uh, and uh, I, I had heard some things. I had I did, you know, a little bit of investigation about, about what was going on. Uh, and uh, I just said, you know, these, uh, you know, this this company. Is, is got what it takes and then when, of course when I saw the process of putting in the generator how it all comes together um, what has to be done and, and, and the amazing professional uh, workmanship and uh, people that were involved in the process and so forth was, was just amazing and, and so at that point I knew I made the right choice. <laughs> Here's another thing, you know, I, I, I hear about people who, you know, get a generator and they get it from wherever and then it's like, all right, well, you know, are, are you, is it being serviced? You know, what, what, what happens if something goes wrong and it's like, well, now what do I do? You know, that's what Tower's all about. You know, you, the process of putting it together, but then them being with you the whole time and knowing that they're there, if you do have a problem, they'll write out to take care of it. Uh, I mean, that's... That's the best too. When you have a guy like Chris who who heads a company like this, I mean, uh, so dedicated, so focused, uh, so making sure that that everything is precisely right. That's why Tower's the best. I mean, there's just no no if ands or buts about it. Um, when you have a guy like Chris uh, running the company, uh, uh, that's uh, that's success and. You know, you throw a little weather in there, uh, and uh, and then I think you know, when people, the word gets around. I think really that's what it's all about. The world gets out as to hey, these guys at Tower, they know what they're doing, and they're there for me. And it makes it's a no-brainer. It makes total sense that uh, if you want you want to get a great product uh, with great people and great service, you go to Tower. I just think when you when you own a home uh, and you care about your home and you care about your family uh, and you know life can be tough in a number of ways uh, and when you know the weather gets bad and there's 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 uh, you know um, serious things happening whether it be a hurricane or or whatever uh, you know having your generator. Uh, I think is again just like having your furnace or your air conditioner in the in the summertime. It's it's there for you to um, to be there to uh, let you continue on in life if you have other adversities that are happening in life or having to deal with uh, cleaning up the yard or doing whatever. You don't have to get displaced. I mean, you're you know you you know that you're going to you know continue to uh, function fairly normally in situations that can be really bad, and especially like in an October snowstorm where you're locked in the house for days mm -hmm. and not, not coming out. That's, uh, you know, that can be a, uh, a, a, at the very least nerve-wracking. So um, I would just say that having a generator, for me, makes stress level go down, peace of mind, and uh, knowing that, uh, you know, that I'll always have the power and, and be able to, uh, um, you know, live life fairly, fairly normally. So that's why I choose tower, for my power.